So, uh, this is Henry Frederick of NSBnews.net, and we're here with Frank Gant, a wood sculptor uh, artist from Oak Hill. Frank, you're here on the Flamingo Follies here on a Saturday, and uh, we understand you won first place. Yes, I did. And very, very lucky. First wood sculpture? Or? Yes, sir. Wood sculpture. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your work here. You know, I grew up, uh, my grandfather was a decoy carver, and uh, that's where I learned my trade, and uh, from South Jersey. Came down here and uh, just enjoyed being out the world, out in the wilderness and uh, doing my carving. Now, you got a lot of scenic, uh, what would be rural kinds of things, and owl birds on a perch. I guess this is your winning entry right here. Yes, it Tell is. us about this, uh, this, uh, this piece is of work a, here. Uh, this is a, a falcon. It's called a kestrel. Uh -huh. And it's got a, a mouse, which it it's feeds food. on. Yeah, it's a food source. And I won first place in the sculpture. And this is your uh, fancy... Uh, that's it. Yes, sir. So you must be pretty excited to come away I'm, with something I'm here. I'm very proud, you know, very, very happy. Yeah. Now tell us about this. This is very pretty. This is, um, I tried to give the uh, the shorebird look uh -huh. of uh, birds in flight. And uh, Now what scenic area would this be? What's this represent? Just your basic shoreline. Shoreline, uh, I mean, it could be anywhere, Maine to Florida? Sure. Oh, yeah. As I take the grandchildren here to the beach, we see the little sandpipers up and down the beach. and. Uh, enjoy the heck out of living here in so, New Smyrna. Coming up from Oak Hill to New Smyrna Beach and you know participating in these kinds of festivals and putting out your artwork, that's, that's going to be pretty endearing to you, huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a challenge. You know, it's, uh, I look forward to it and uh, do all my carvings and gear up for the next show and that kind of stuff. Things slow though on the economic front. Oh yes. yes. Have you sold anything today? Uh, no. So a little, little yeah. tough to swallow in that area. Yeah, yeah. But so you'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow will be much better. So. Well, so Sunday is supposed to be beautiful yeah. weather. We had a great crowd. Well, we had gorgeous weather today. So Frank, how long does it take to make something like this? That would take me about two and a half weeks. Really? Yeah. yeah but it now, is there any particular carving tools that you use? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do uh, you have specific uh, knives or cutting uh, devices? It's a Fordham machine. It's an engine with a flexible uh -huh. shaft. And I have all different, similar to a dentist drill. So you probably have fancy glasses and safety goggles and your oh, yeah. real uh, yeah. you oh yeah I've got to carve right from the bird so I work with calipers and the bill and the nostrils and the now eyes. are you coming off of something that you're looking at or is this like in your vision in your no, head I've got, to, I've got to have either the taxidermic bird or the the bird right there to, to carve from and then you just make the image of it it gives me the, the, the most true feather layout coloration that I could possibly ask for. This is very realistic. Well, Re very real like it. That owl is a little, uh, he's a little uh, menacing there. Yeah. The, the part that takes me the most amount of time is all the meticulous wood burning of right. each individual line that gives it its uh, lifelike appearance. Now, how much would something like this go for? That's 800 And this? Uh, 225 so some high-end products for a yeah. wood sculptor. But I think I'm making about 35 cents an hour. You know, so it's a, a labor of love. Labor of love, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Well, for Frank Gant, this is Henry Frederick of NSBnews.net. Thank you. All right. Thanks.